Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to rename fractions and mixed numbers. So a mixed number is a number that is represented by a whole number and a fraction. An example would be 2 and 3 fourths. A mixed number can be renamed as a fraction greater than 1, which is called an improper fraction. So 11 fourths is an example of an improper fraction. I like to think of an improper fraction as something that's not really following the rules. If I say that you're being very improper, that means you're not doing what is expected of you. So typically, a fraction in a fraction, a numerator is less than the denominator because it's usually less than one whole. However, if our numerator is greater than our denominator, that means our number is greater than one whole, and it can be turned into a mixed number. Here's a problem to look at. Justin has two and one fourth pounds of granola. He wants to make portions that are each one fourth pound. How many portions can Justin make? So I'm going to start by using an illustration to help me figure this out. I know that there's um, because we're broken into two and one fourth, that one whole pound is broken into four parts. And I see that he has two full pounds and one partial pound. So I'm going to draw a picture that has three pounds total with each pound being broken into four parts. I'm going to start by shading in two and one fourth. So I'm going to shade in two full pounds and one fourth of the third pound. So that would be equal to two and one fourth. So he wants portions that are one fourth pound each. So all I have to do is look at how many portions was he able to make. I see he has four plus four is eight plus one more is nine. So he was able to make nine fourths. So two and one fourth is the same as nine fourths. So he can make nine portions. I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. You can change a mixed number to an improper fraction by multiplying the denominator and the whole number and then adding the numerator to get your new num numerator. Let me show you what that looks like. In that same equation where we had two and one fourth, I'm going to start by multiplying my whole number times my denominator. So two times four equals eight. So notice I just took my denominator, multiplied it times my whole number. Now I'm going to add 8, which was my product, to my numerator. So 8 plus 1 equals 9. Now 9 is going to become my new numerator. So 2 and 1 fourth is equal to 9 fourths. Remember, that's what we got in our last problem. So all I had to do is multiply my denominator times my whole number, and then add my numerator. Kind of makes a little semicircle. Let's look at some more examples. If I have four and three sevenths. I'm going to start by multiplying my denominator times my whole number. So four times seven equals 28. Then I'm going to take that number and add it to my numerator. 28 plus three equals 31. Now 31 becomes my new numerator, and 4 and 3 sevenths is equal to 31 sevenths. Let's see one more example. If I have 3 and 5 eighths, I'm going to start by multiplying my denominator times my whole number. You kind of put those together in your mind in a circle. So 3 times 8 is 24. Then I'm going to take that product and add it to my numerator. 24 plus 5 equals 29. Then I'm, this new number, 29, is going to become my numerator. So now 3 and 5 eighths is going to be equal to 29 eighths. Voila, it's that simple. Let's look at how we can change a mixed number, uh, improper fraction now, back into a mixed number. Here's a word problem. Nina measures her pencil. It is 21 eighths inches long. How many inches long is Nina's pencil as a mixed number? So we're going to use a picture again to help us figure out and see what's happening in this problem. So if it's 21 eighths, it tells me that one inch is broken into eight parts. So I know I'm going to need more than one. Well, I need two. Eight plus eight is 16. Yep, I'm going to need more than two. Would I need more than three? No, I'm just going to need to have three. So I have one eighth plus two eighth is 16 plus another one would be 24. 
So I'm going to start by shading in 21. So I have 8, 16, and then 5 more makes 21. So I've colored in 21 eighths. Now looking at my picture, I see that I have two holes, and then I have a fractional part of 5 eighths. So my mixed number would be 2 holes and 5 eighths. 2 and 5 eighths. Let's look at how we can use that, do that using a formula. This time we're going to change our improper fraction to a mixed number, but instead of multiplying, we're going to do the inverse operation, which is dividing. So this time we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So again, looking at the problem we had, oh, and the quotient then will become the whole number, and the remainder will be the numerator. So let's see. So if we had 21 eighths, we're going to start by dividing 21 divided by 8, which gives me 2 with the remainder of 5. So I know 2 times 8 is 16, plus 5 more would be 21. So since I have 2 with a remainder of 5, my whole number, 21 eighths, is equal to 2 with a 5 eighths. So 2 and my remainder 5 becomes my numerator and my eighth stays the same, two and five eighths. Let's try some more. I have 18 fourths. I'm gonna start by dividing 18 by four, my numerator divided by my divide, um, denominator. So 18 goes into four, four goes into 18, four times with a remainder of two. So 18 fourths is going to be equal to four holes and two fourths of a fraction. Notice my remainder, my leftover, it's just being broken into a fractional part. We talked about how our remainder could be used as a fraction. This is going back to that information we did, did earlier in the year. Here's one more problem. 25, divi um, 25 thirds. So I'm going to start with 25 divided by 3. And 3 goes into 25 eight times with a remainder of 1. Because 8 times 3 is 24, and 1 more is left over. So 25 thirds is going to be equal to my whole number of 8 with 1 third remaining. So 8 and 1 third. So again, just to recap, if we're going from a mixed number to an improper fraction, we can use multiplication and addition. And if we're going from an improper fraction to a mixed number, we can use division and use our remainder for our fraction. I hope that this was helpful. Click like below and subscribe for more videos from the Math Maniac. Have a great day.